Hi, I'm Victor Puhi with Jasper Design Automation. I'm here to show how Jasper has used formal verification to verify secure hardware. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the importance of uh, s hardware verification in terms of security. Uh, so if you think about a secure software that's running on a secure operating system, that operating system depends on the hardware to guarantee security. So if the hardware is not secure, nothing on top of it is going to be secure either. So verifying that the hardware works correctly is key to guarantee that the whole system uh, is secure. Uh, so let's talk about what people have done nowadays uh, to verify security on hardware. Uh, so one common approach is to use structural analysis and manual inspection to make sure that there are no unexpected paths between secure locations and non-secure locations. That approach doesn't work well as the design sizes increase. Uh, also, to use simulation-based approach, it can be really hard to activate and detect security-related issues because the verification engineer has to act as the hacker to catch those issues. And usually, that's not something that you can uh, count on. Uh, and even if you use standard formal verification, the tools and techniques that are available with standard formal are not complete, do, do not comprehensively address the issues with security verification. Uh, so I'm going to show uh, some of the concepts and Jasper's tools using one small example design that deals with both secure and non-secure data. On this, on this design, uh, there is a secure input here, next key, uh, that is processed downstream, and the secure key eventually ends up on this key storage element. All of the other uh, inputs here, the green inputs, they are non-secure and they should never affect the key here. Also, there are green, the green outputs, those are non-secure outputs, which should never see the value here that's stored in the key. Uh, so we're going to use Jasper's tools to verify this design and make sure that there are no security issues. Uh, so first of all, let's do a leakage check. What we call a leakage verification is to make sure that uh, secure data never leaks to undesired locations. Uh, we could do this check with standard formal. So for example, we could have a one separate property for, uh, from the, the, the secure uh, data to all of the top level signals in the design. But using standard formal, that would require the writing one separate assertions for each one of the paths. That is error prone and that would not detect timing viol violations uh, from the next key to these uh, green signals. So that is not feasible. So let's see how we can do this check using Jasper's security path verification app. So with this application, uh, this application allows the user to ask the two a question, can data ever go from A to B? In this case, we're going to ask if data can ever go to A from to all of the top level signals in the design. Uh, so we're going to use some automation to create all of these checks. We have one source and many destinations. Then we're going to run a formal proof on these checks, on these assertions. And this is the result that we get. This result, whenever we get a check mark, the check mark indicates that secure data never goes to this specific location. And whenever we get an X, that means that secure data can go from the secure location to this destination. When we overlay these results on the design, this is what we get. Uh, whenever we get a check mark, that's where the secure data never goes to. So if we see here, I, we got the expected results. Uh, all of, the, all of the green signals, green inputs, and green outputs, they can never see the secure data. And the secure data can, can go from the source all the way to the FIFO, and it can reach the key and can reach this key match output, which is expected. So this shows that we don't have any uh, leakage issues on this design. For any of these access, we can ask the tool to show us how data can get there. So this would be one example waveform showing how data on next key can eventually propagate to the key signal. Uh, now we're going to run the, the uh, analogous check for leakage, which is the sanctity uh, verification check. So now we're going to check if non-secure locations can ever affect a secure location. So we're going to check that from all of the top level signals, which one of these can affect the value here on key. Uh, again, this could be done with standard formal, but that would require one separate assertion for each one of these uh, paths here, which again is error prone and uh, cannot detect timing violations. Therefore, it's not feasible to do that. So again, we're going to use Jasper's security path verification app. And once we have all the checks and when, once we run the formal analysis, these are the results that we get. Where, wherever we get a check mark, that means that those places can never affect the key. 
so it's different than before. Now we're checking if uh, these signals can ever affect the value here. And uh, uh, whenever we have the x, those are places that can eventually affect the value here on the key. So we see that we only got the expected results, that only next key and the, the path here through the FIFO can affect the key, which is what we expect. Uh, this technology was used by one of Jasper's customers. The background is they are developing a, a high volume consumer electronics that would be the, the, uh, the target of constant attacks by hackers. Uh, and they had engineers that were new to security verification that had to apply this technology to do security verification. The process is that the engineers used the, the Jasper's security path verification app and uh, to cross-check the results from their simulation flow. They had uh, verification uh, running on simulation already. Uh, and initially, uh, Jasper helped those engineers ramp up on security verification, but after a few months, they were pretty much self-supporting. Uh, the benefits that they got by using this app is that they found several leakage and sanctity issues that were not detected by any of the other methods, not detected with structural analysis, and not detected uh, with simulation. And some of the, those issues were critical and could be, have been exploited by hackers. So a summary of what we just presented is that we have shown how, it, how important it is to do verification, uh, security verification on hardware. Uh, because it's on the base of the pyramid. We have shown that the existing verification methods are not sufficient. Structural analysis, simulation, and standard formal cannot completely address the issues with security verification. And Jasper has introduced a new application called Security Path Verification App that has a unique formal technology that enables checking for leakage and sanctity uh, issues on a secure hardware. So if you'd like to have more information about this technology, uh, you can uh, check, check out the free white paper that we have available on our, our website. Uh, the title is Ver Verifying Security Aspects of SOC Designs with Jasper Gold App. Uh, or you can also send us an e email at info at jasper-da.com or visit our website. Thank you.